MSI has launched a new motherboard into the market, the H510M Plus 2. Now, this is a new motherboard in terms of like from their factory. However, this motherboard has some history. Firstly, this motherboard only covers 10th and 11th gen Intel processors. Now, these processors have been phased out by Intel and we are currently on the Ultra series, meaning they support LGA 1200. Here's some specs on this board. This board comes out with two RAM slots supporting DDR4. It has a PCI Express 3.0 x16 lane. It supports one M.2. It has HDMI, VGA, and guess what? A PS2 port for that old peripheral hardware you might have lying around. So basically no PCIe 4, no PCIe 5.0, you kind of stuck in the past. Here's the problem using this motherboard in a new system you want to build in today's day. Currently we have the RTX 5000 series, which comes out on a PCIe 5.0 slot. And for the RAM, why would you want a DDR4 motherboard when you can easily go get a board which supports DDR5, which is not only better, but cheaper. So to break it down, running this PCIe 3.0, both on the NVMe along with the graphics cards, especially on the graphics cards, this system will bottleneck your experience. So who is this actually for? Firstly, this could be for that person who's using a 10th or 11th gen processor and their motherboard is fried or cooked. This could be used, you know, in a small home application or school environment where there's not a lot of rendering or things like that required and it'll run the office suite along with Windows perfectly fine. Next, it could be that there's still a huge market which is stuck with the 10th and 11th gen processors, which MSI somehow knows is there, which they want to basically help build PCs with. So MSI releasing this H510M plus two motherboard in 2025, I wouldn't say it's a good idea, especially if you want to build a budget gaming PC, please stay away from this. Like this is going to tank your experience. You're going to waste your money just rather aim for an AM4 platform if you have to. I would recommend you stick to an AM5 platform rather as that is a bit more future proof. Even though we might have Zen 6 coming out, I'm not too sure if that socket is going to change then. But AMD is still releasing CPUs for the AM4 platform. I mean, just a few months ago, they launched a new CPU for the AM4 platform. So let me know, do you think this was a smart move from MSI or do you think they just have some parts lying around and they're trying to get rid of it. Let me know in the comments.